And we're back. And yeah, if you wait long enough on these screens, you get this little tune. So let's start the game off proper with some intros and tutorials. Do, 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 do. Oh god. Another glitch. The uh, star spirits are supposed to be not silhouettes. They're supposed to be them, but kind of see-through. Transparent, that's the word. <laughs> this is so funny, they're all silhouettes. Oh, thank heavens, he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has a star rod, now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless, all is lost. Man. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Did we die or just get severely knocked out? I'm thinking the former. <laughs> Phew, that's it. Now I'll, that's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. We just got lightning out of a castle in space. Really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like that one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on, up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Woo! Dad! Goompa! Goombario! <coughs> Goombario's like my favorite party member. He's so useful. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to look like. Oh. And then he immediately goes back to the silhouette. Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Were we told of that place in the castle? Pretty sure we were. Hmm, that square just lit up. I think the whole room is supposed to be dark, but uh... <laughs> How many glitches can you spot? Oh, Mario. I'm so happy to see you awake. Hey, Toad. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Everyone? This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. Yeah, it's quite a small village. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folk you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Hmm. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that. And I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Hmm, I don't think so. Although maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Hmm. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, land sakes, Mario, so nice to see you, my. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. Howdy, Mario, feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You have to leave right now? Oh, Shooting Star Summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I'll have to, I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax, don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Did they not see Princess's castle getting lifted up in the air? Yeah, this is a save block. We can save our game with it. Big shock, I know. 
Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. Whoa. Hello. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. They call me Gooma. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Ho 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 ho. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. I also have a thing for Goombella. I don't know why. Vivian's still better, though. Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good, knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goompa grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. I have no idea what a veranda is. I would just call that thing a deck. Oh, Mario, my dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. That was quick. So I guess now you can travel east to Toad Town and Shooting Star Summit, huh? Yeah. Let's go. you have anything new to say? I wanted to go with you too, you know, but Daddy told me it was too dangerous, so I have to stay here instead. Hmm. Who? what a job. Sorry to have kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe the Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you. The duty calls, I know. That video was hilarious. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. Hee 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 hee. Whoa. It's Kami Koopa. On an awesome little broom. <laughs> Bleh ha 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 ha. Ah, my instincts. Instincts? My instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from Lord Bowser. King Bowser. Yeah, we got friggin' lightning and fell a billion feet. I'm surprised we're still on our feet, too. You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. Wha- what? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird? You rude little. I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Kami Koopa. Yeah, surprisingly enough, that thing is a female. Hmm. I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Glitch box, I summon you. Oh no, the gate. Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. Wow, I'm not even going to try to imitate that. <laughs> he looks so pissed. I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Kami Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing has happened to her. W what Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable. And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit to help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we've just got to do something, right? Mario's got to save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um, oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big hammer. I like what hamper, hammer was a pronoun there. I think he's using it to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will you? Alright. Wait a minute. Something's missing here. Oh shit! The veranda's not here! Ah. Oh hey, there it is. You know, I bet the little quake that Block made when it hit caused it to fall. I mean, he was fixing it, so it would be... unstable to begin with. Oh, my back. Hmm? Who's that? That you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Yep. 
Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get home because that block is in the way. This block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we better look for it. The hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Yeah, it's a cheap little wooden hammer. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If exclamation mark appears over your head, you can press A to search. The hammer is... Right here, I think. You found the hammer. Mario could do the hammer attack now. You can smash a yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Whack. I don't think any of these blocks have anything useful in them. But we can get a few coins. So let's get a few coins. We have 15 coins. The one tree you want to hit is this one. Whack. You got the dolly! Oh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Aw, the awesome Mario Party 2 glitch isn't in the background anymore. It's still glitchy. But yeah, before there was a glitch where there was a um, text scene from Mario Party 2 because I had been playing it before this. And it wouldn't go away. It would just be stuck there in the background of the pause screen. <laughs> the Wiggler from the Wild West stage, I think. Well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Ouch! Whoa! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody! Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Get used to this guy, he appears like six more times throughout the game. Mario, this is Junior Troopa. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. Let's try our new hammer out. We still don't have action commands, so we just have to let it play out. Oh, excellent. Good move. Go on. Ouch. This is about as exciting as battles get early on. Once you're able to use action commands, it gets a lot better. I'm just getting warmed up. Action commands and badges. Badges make the game fun. Mario, you've almost got him. Keep it up. Go on. Whoa, my voice. Alright, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troopa's special attack. Full power! Ooh, you do one point of more damage. And now you're dead. Well, not dead, but... 20 star points. Nice. That was wonderful fighting. You got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 star points, you go up a level. Always try hard to get points. Shoot, I was winning too. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it, I'll be back. Again and again and again. Actually, the last time you see him is in the last chapter of the game. He comes back quite a bit. Ah, this is supposed to have a heart in it. There it is. It heals you fully. Your heart points will fully recover. 
I think in the Thousand Year Door, those heals you fully end your flower points. I'm not entirely sure about that. But they also... Oh god. Fire flower. But they also... Yeah. Items. They also costed money to use in a Thousand Year Door. And the later in the game you were, the more they costed. I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can su su successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. It basically just means you do a little bit of extra damage to the uh, first enemy. Whack. Until we have Goombario as a partner, we cannot see enemies' helps. So we'll just have to deal. These guys have spikes on their heads. We cannot jump on them. That's a spiked Goomba. See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. So that's where this comes in handy. Whack. Enemies usually always drop three, and once you get a little too higher level, they'll drop two, then one, and then they'll stop dropping experience altogether. And you'll be forced to fight stronger enemies. Listen up, Mario, that the enemy is flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You could jump over one enemy's attack to attack one behind it, too. This is good advice. Remember it. Yeah. Whack. My main problem in the Paper Mario games is I'm usually way too conservative with items. Like in, um... In, uh, Thousand Year Door, I had an HP drain and two Wacka's bumps with me through the entire game, and I never used any of them. Another thing is I'm always so damn anal about keeping healing items for, uh, times where you really need it, with, like, hard mini-bosses and boss fights and stuff. I guess I've been playing too much Resident Evil. <laughs> Which is totally not true, but, you know. Coin, and the star piece! It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. Star pieces are used for trading badges. From this one dude near Shooting Star Summit. Really useful badges, too. Like, rare, but only one type in the entire game kind of thing. Never worry, kids, here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Hey, guys. Goompa, where have you been? I looked outside and, wow, both you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goompa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. <sighs> Sorry, it's midnight. <laughs> Sorry, kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Huh? Hey, that dolly you've got. That's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Sure, here you go. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly! You're back! Thank you so much! I'm so happy. My sweet dolly, don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present from me. Look at the pretty glitter. Yay, another star piece. And take this, too. Smooch. I think Omario went all staticky. Or ripply. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now. When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, I must have done it on her or something. Be quiet, Goombario. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. 
It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. I never got that. <laughs> oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. Power jump. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do the power jump, which means you'll be able to do a more, lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here, and listen well. You'll only be able to do if you're wearing the badge. You better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to use badges? Yeah, sure. Let's show it off. Okay then, press start. The menu will open. Whoop. Start button, there we go. Select badges. Dit, dit. Put on. Take off. Exit. You need flower points to use the badge techniques. Do you remember that when we saw a block like this back on the village? Well, this block will restore not only HP, but also FP. Oh, the game didn't tell us that before. The lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the by, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it up, or you're taking it upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, good Mario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain. Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Gumbario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany him. What? Really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yes! Oh yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. I'm gonna sit here and listen to the uh, partner music for a while, because it's one of my favorite songs in the game. Press down C to have them tell you about people, places, or things nearby. I love that picture. <laughs> when you're interested, just ask him. Gumbario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with his head bonk, or he can tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Do 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 Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. This is so cool. Mario, let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you want to take a rest at the tow house. This is... Oops. Go back up. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a toad house, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a rest. That big tree near my house is a great place to get goom nuts. God damn it. It's up sea, not down sea. Yeah, we might as well heal up. Do 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 do. This game would be impossible without partners in battle. They're really helpful. Say goodbye to everyone. Mom, I get to go with Mario. I promise when I come back, I'll bring home souvenirs. <coughs> oh, my little baby. I can't believe you're going out into the world with Mario. Now you listen. You be a good boy, you hear? Don't cause Mario any trouble. I know, Mom. Sheesh. I'll be good. Goombario, you mind your mom. Wear a sweater when it's cold. Don't be picky about your food. Don't start fights. Be polite. <coughs> Don't boast about all the things Goompa taught you, as you already know them. And remember, and... Erg, Mom always nags me. Now hush, Mario, please take good care of my sweet little Goombario. I took longer than I thought I would. It's not fair, Goombario always gets to do all the fun stuff. Mario, when I grow up, can I go on an adventure too? Ch maybe. Goomnut. 3 FP. That'll come in handy. Whack. There we go, problem solved. 
I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge Goomba gave you. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you better put that thing on before you go. Yeah, because the game makes you take it off in the tutorial. There. Happy. But with that, I think we're good for an intro. So I... We'll see you guys later. Tomorrow, probably. See you then!